Big city. It was a beautiful day on the island of Sodor. Edward warned James and the other engines for sitting in the sheds. Henry was at the work being repaired because his funnel cracked. So a new engine was coming to replace his shed. I hope this new engine for placing the shed is my brother flying Scotsman. Yeah, I would doubt that. But I would expect maybe a green arrow or a tornado to replace Henry's birth. Suddenly, a whistle blew. Must be in right now, said James. An engine slowly puffed onto the turntable. <laughs> Gordon was so shocked at the engine, he almost jumped off the rails. And there came a British railway tenant, a green tenant, and then came in the engine. Everyone was surprised to find out the engine was a big city engine. Great to see you again, Gordon. I remember you. Hear that big city engine guy I was arguing with about London Stop Station still. Yes, I sure am. Oh no, not this guy again, said James. Why did Mr. Topham have to send you to the island? Well, I heard Henry broken down. Piece of scrap metal. Hey! I know Henry's, like, old and all, but that did take it that far. Is Henry even old? said James. Can you two just stop gossiping and let me talk? Anyways, since I'm not send me here, because I heard about what happened to Henry, so I'm here to take his train. Wait. You really gonna try to take his flying kipper at smelly fish? Oh heck no! Said Big City Engine responding to James. I don't know why so top of the hat and you silly guys think I can just take like a smelly fish train on the rails. How about 
one of you two try to take the train yourselves. James chuckled a little bit. <laughs> you really think I'm going to take a fish train like that? No! You think a splendid engine like me would take a smelly fish car train over to the coast side of the railway? No. How about Gordon takes the train? No, I have expressed you as new. Plus, what if this stupid big city engine, whatever you are, takes place on my train and sometimes I have a place in me? Can you just suss already, big city engine? I know you and Gordon are kind of like rivals or something, like him and Spencer. But can you please just chill? But look who's talking, Mr. Grandpuff. Hey, I would watch that little mouth of yours. I might be old, but I, I might be old, but I am not a grandpa like Duke. Then suddenly, coming around the bend was Toby. What seems to be the problem here, guys? Oh, hello, Toby. This big city engine moron is here arguing with me, Edward, and James. And that's why I'm here. Their standing in front of big city engine was... So top on half. <laughs> I know you were probably confusing me on my room. I should be sure to do it. Tomorrow, I need you off my island since when is coming back to the sheds tomorrow. You understand me? Anything else, I'm going to argue with my own people. I'm going to argue Hope you learned your lesson, Big City Engine. With that, Toby passed away.